All right, let's talk specifically about some of the instrumentation that you'll see on an electric grid. Um, and uh, so, this, you know, the standard measurements that we would be taking would be uh, voltage and current in an electrical circuit, right? So uh, let's start with current. So in the electric grid, you've got the, everybody's seen the transmission lines, uh, you know, the big poles with the, the wires on them. And uh, if you're running the electric grid, it's obviously very important for you to understand or for you to, to measure how much current is flowing through those lines. Um, that's going to be the amount of that's that's going to represent the amount of power that you're delivering. And uh, so what you'll see, I've got a little picture here, and hopefully uh, you can see this okay. But we've got uh, in the instrumentation that's on the lines, okay. So in order, in order to measure the current, you use something called a current transformer, or a CT. And to measure the voltage, you use a uh, voltage or a potential transformer, a PT. So you'll hear distribution engineers will talk about CTs and PTs a lot. Um, and this is just simply the instrumentation that they're putting on the lines. So uh, I'll try and uh, explain to you how this fits into what we've already learned. Um, so we'll we'll look at uh, you know how do you how do you hook a big electric line with lots of power going through it and a tiny little computer card uh, so that you can measure the value and uh, inside the current transformer what they're doing is uh, this this current transformer sits on the line and so here's your transmission line right here okay and what you're doing is you're actually putting a, a coil of um, a ferromagnetic material around that line and because there's an AC current flowing through here the, that current flowing through here is going to induce a current in this uh, in this coil right here that's proportional to the amount of current going through here so what you're able to do is you're able to take this large circuit right here with lots of power going through it and you're able to induce a proportional current in this smaller circuit that you can then hook into your A to D converter, right? So this would be your A to D converter. So what you're doing is you're maybe taking a huge power line here and you're converting it into a, a zero to five volt signal that can then be handled by a computer, an analog to digital computer. So uh, in the field, what you would have is a, a, at the substation or wherever they're taking this measurement, uh, there'd be lines coming down into little boxes that have the computers that are taking the readings that are then doing what we've been talking about, converting this into a digital number. So uh, that's how a current transformer works, okay? And our next slide, I've got a potential transformer, okay? So again, this is sitting up on the, uh, this is sitting up on the line it's using the principle of inductance again and what I'm doing is I've actually I'm hooking this to the I'm hooking this to the transmission line okay and it's gonna have a voltage uh, a high very high voltage and then on this end of the transformer I'm gonna get a smaller voltage say 0 to 5 volts that's gonna represent my voltage here okay and then that's gonna go into the computer so that's how a potential transformer works and if I know the voltage and I know the current, then I can I can calculate how much power is flowing through that line as well. So uh, that's what happens in the field. Um, so now I want to talk a little bit about some other types of of, uh, of instrumentation. And of course, probably what you're thinking is, well, what about smart meters? Okay, so this smart meter this this represents a meter that would be hooked into a, a residential customer's house. And so inside this this smart meter, it's doing exactly the same thing. It's got little current transformers and potential transformers, CTs and PTs. And so it's reading the voltage and the current, and it's calculating the power. And then over time, it's integrating that power to figure out how many kilowatt hours are being used. Um, in this specific case, though, there's there's some different things going on than what we've talked about before, because we've talked about, you know, some sort of an instrument. Uh, uh, electric line going into some sort of a computer where the A to D conversion happens and then this gets converted into a digital signal right so I've got an instrument I've got some wiring and I've got a computer somewhere all that is happening inside this device okay 
So inside this device, this one's got the little current transformers and potential transformers, and it's got the analog to digital conversion equipment in it. It's basically a small computer, and then it's got a radio link um, to the outside world where it's able to to uh, report these signals. Okay. So in the next lesson, we're going to talk a little bit about SCADA, or we're going to talk a lot about SCADA systems, and we're going to discuss this in more detail, but I wanted to make sure that you understood the distinction um, uh, about what's going on here. So, you know, the fundamental thing that's happening is analog to digital signal conversion, okay, and that's handled through an A to D converter. The A to D converter is, uh, its primary characteristic is its resolution, okay, and how many bits of uh, how many bits it can use to represent the input signal and the higher the, res the higher the resolution the lower your quantization error the more accurate your readings are okay so A to D conversion is the fundamental thing that's happening whenever you're measuring a physical signal from the real world and converting it into a digital representation that computers can communicate and understand that's, that's the fundamental process how that happens physically in the system can vary because sometimes you can have you know a little computer card sitting in a box someplace and then you have a bunch of instruments okay so you have a bunch of instruments that come back into an analog to digital conversion card in the computer and so the computers making all those readings okay in other instances you'll have smart instruments like this where all of this part is happening internally. So it's got all the circuitry and everything it needs to take the physical measurements to convert them to a digital signal, to, to a digital number, and then communicate that out to the outside world via either radio or a, um, a wired network, okay? And so this is what we're going to, th these are the concepts that we're going to be talking about um, in our future lessons, okay. So the next lesson you're going to we're going to talk about is called SCADA fundamentals, okay. So SCADA is supervisory control and data acquisition. Well, it's basically the computer systems that are used to control the electric grid, okay, and industrial control systems. And then after that, we're going to talk about uh, communications proto communications and protocols. So we'll talk about how this part happens, how these smart devices then communicate or in this case where the instrumentation goes into a computer input card how this computer then talks to the rest of the network so uh, hopefully this is this is clear to you um, uh, the most important thing for you to learn from this lesson is just the the concept of the analog to digital conversion how the physical signals become digital signals and then uh, our little talk here about CTs and PTs being two of the primary instruments that are that are connected to the electric grid um, and then things like smart meters and stuff like that.